Okay, uh, 4.02 is negation. We talked a little bit in the last one, in uh, 4.1, about saying no, not, stuff like that. We're going to go a little bit deeper into that. Again, it's a really quick hit and run um, chapter. Uh, responding negatively to questions. And here, the emphasis of this one is to both say no at the beginning, answer the question, then elaborate, elaborate on that question or on that answer um, so that more information is given. So we said no. The, the last repeat, sometimes it's me, sometimes it's no. Depends on how you feel. If you're going to correct at the end, you definitely want to repeat the pronoun. So, no. This chapter, they keep repeating the me at the end, the pronoun repetition. So important words, no, to that last time, not, not, right? So it's a sort of extended thumb fist, not, not, and none. Again, we went over all those in the last unit. Not true, not true, not true, right? No, none, none. You'll sometimes see none going straight down, none, none. <laughs> I get that same question. And again, uh, just like I said at that moment, uh, I think right in the middle of the last chapter about expanding is to give a little bit more information. Don't just end with a, a monosyllable. No. Give more. You can repeat the question. Um, or you can negate it. Not married, right? Have sweetheart. So again, this one, unit two, is really just saying, I remember what we did last week. Let's emphasize the no's. So uh, I listed the questions or practice from that gloss, how the order of the signs. Right? And remember, it can apply to cars. You can correct the information. So that was the negation. No, I don't have a car. So if you're talking about how do you get to class, you have a car? Ooh. Or cross country ski. Or you could put them both together. Now, to add back in the family stuff. Now, I want to point out that I am using there to point to the brother because I don't want to get caught up into the his and hers because I think I, when you point, I don't want you to be thinking of him and her. I want you to think about that person I'm referencing. Right, so it's gender neutral. So much spam. Um, okay, great. So your brother over there divorced. And I'm reinforcing that it's that person over there because maybe there's eight brothers. I don't know. Um,
could correct them with So there are, th um, I think it's here, there are th also a couple, I think, I think it's four questions with answers. Here we have both question and answer. Um, do you live with your parents? I believe is the first one. So I've put down at the bottom, let me move this over out of the way. Um, I can't move that one, okay. Um, do you live with your parents? No, me not. not live with parents. So uh, simple, we're just taking the same stuff we've done and trying it in slightly different ways. Oh, go back to here. Second question, I glossed it down below. Third question. Now we get in a separate because they're getting a little bit longer. I want you to you know, look at them a little bit more carefully. But um, there's also different responses, as we've talked about. You can give just the negation. You can give the corrected information, or you can put them together. So she's using now the word pregnant to get pregnant. So again, we're, it's a baby step from what the last two units have done. Home videos, family movies. Does your family have? Okay. And a couple ways to respond. Have. Picture book, photo album. Now, again, this seems really outdated in the way of uh, <laughs> of a book because by now everybody's got cell phone videos. Uh, at that time, it was record on VHS, right? Uh, and so they haven't really caught up. It's um, Anyway, no, we just have this family Snapchat. We do the TikToks together. They're so much fun. Okay. So the next section the, is the what would be the homework. And there are 10 different questions, 10 different sentences. And just figure out which ones use no. All of them use no. You should all be using no to start the answer, right? No, no, not, or no, none. Figuring out which one applies. And here are the red X's show, I suppose I should do there. The red X's do, 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 show the ones that we already did so far in the unit, um, either in discussion, in the, the dialogue or on the videos. And then there are 10 more that are in this video. Right. And, oh, I should, I need to get rid of this. Okay, before I forget, patosh. Okay, great. So there's the answers. And again, the vocab and all the videos from this unit. So it's really just emphasizing how do you answer the question? If it's negate, it's an if it's positive, yes, with information. If it's negative, no, with information. And just practice those vocab from the uh, previous chapters. And that's four point two.